Listen, I tell you what though, life has its ups and downs, twists and turns, especially in this economy. I mean, the price of meat is crazy and it affects even our living situation. So if you're struggling to pay rent or you have in your mind the foreseeable future that you might be evicted or have been evicted in the past, then this video is for you because we're gonna be talking about how to find and rent a property after an eviction. This is that video for you. I'm glad you are here. This is my corner of the internet where I talk about renters experience, renters life, so definitely stick around. Let's get into it. That the rent is too damn high party. People are working eight hours a day and 40 hours a week and some a third job. The rent too damn high movement, the people I'm here to represent can't afford to pay their rent. They can't eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Listen, child, stomach, just growl. Did you hear it? Gotta listen like me. I mean, listen, the moratorium which protects renters has long expired, long past, and I'm seeing a lot more people evicted. Like I said in my previous video, if you haven't watched it out, check it out. I have seen as much as two people evicted in this month of May 2022 alone where I live. So definitely this video is important. It's definitely, definitely a process it requires some patience but there are tools out there and let's jump right into it so to get started before you find ways to fix your eviction that shows up on your record you need to understand who actually can see your eviction record now most properties or landlords out there especially if you rent it from a community they run what is called a renters background check and before they approve you for rental when your landlord runs a tenant screening also known as a renters background check the eviction will start showing up on your on your record they will see that information it's definitely a red flag that could cause landlords to definitely put your application to the side or deny you from renting a property. Now, although it's extremely rare, there are in fact ways by which you can get an eviction notice on your record expunge. You can consult with a lawyer and take it all the way to court and the judge can rule. If you feel that you were wrongfully evicted, if you feel that you paid your rent, if you feel you did everything right, you can in fact find a lawyer, consult with a lawyer, go to court, file proceedings and go all the way to a judge and have it expunged. But that process is extremely long and like I said, rare. But nothing is impossible, right? Like I said, if you in fact win the case, then you can take that documentation, send it to all the credit bureaus out there saying, hey, this has been expunged and they will in fact take that eviction from your record so you can be able to rent properties moving forward. But if you were in fact evicted from your property justly, meaning you didn't in fact do what you were supposed to, which is pay your rent and your landlord evicted you, then you can negotiate with your landlord to have that removed from your record. You could approach your landlord, have them contact the credit bureaus, but they have to do it well in time. They can contact the credit bureaus and say, hey, stop this process and have that removed from your record so you can be able to move forward with a clean slate. Now your landlord will also have to contact many rents or screening companies and have that record cleared out. This process is also long and most landlords probably won't want to do that. Having to evict you means that you're already in their bad graces and so they just might not want to help you in that regard. So if the reason for your eviction was a failure to pay, you can in fact go ahead and pay your rent, pay what you were owed and have your landlord pause that eviction process from going through then you would not have that on your record it would not have gone through to the credit bureaus and every other screening processing uh, company now the landlord must accept that payment and reach out to have those proceedings paused or halted now whatever the case is you're paying off a collections agency or a landlord you must in fact have that whatever is due paid before you can be able to rent future properties now the next thing you want to do is raise your credit score because this is in fact something that is looked at when you go to apply for renters property you definitely want to raise your credit score. Evictions or failing to pay definitely lowers your credit score by hundreds of points. Now a good credit score is around 670, maybe higher 700s, of course 850, we all want to be there. But you definitely want to work on raising your credit score. Now there are tons of ways and tons of videos out there on how you can raise your credit score, how you can raise a big, build better credit. So definitely explore those methods because that is one thing that you can do to help the situation raise your credit score. Now another thing that you would need to do is prepare to make your case. I talk about this a little bit in my previous video about not being able to afford rent. Because of your eviction, you will need to prove to your future or your prospective landlord that you will be a reliable tenant. And that would take a little bit of time and a little bit of patience. Now, how can you build your case? How can you prove to your landlord that you are reliable? Well, for one, you can use co-workers. You can use colleagues. If you are a member of a club where you volunteer, where you provide services, you can hit them up and have letters, have phone numbers, have references where your landlord can contact to ask about your reputation, ask if you're reliable, but definitely don't contact family members because that is not as tangible. Now, another thing that you can do is have a guarantor or a co-signer. And I would brush up on what a co-signer or why or if you need a co-signer in a separate video. But if your landlord is still hesitant on lending you or leasing you a property, then you definitely want to consider having a guarantor or a co-signer. Now, this is an excellent method 
to having a property rented to you if you have an eviction on your record but it can be tricky it can be tricky because you will need to contact somebody and have them co-sign on you renting that property and they will be liable for you not paying if you fail to pay your rent now while a guarantor and a co-signer have the same or similar responsibilities the difference is that a guarantor cannot live in a property while a co-signer can in fact live in a property so definitely see which one you want to go with a guarantor or a co-signer most likely a co-signer and explore that option like i said it's a good option can be tricky but definitely it's a good option to have a co-signer now another thing that you might consider doing is having a roommate a roommate is an incredible incredible way to build renters history and build credit. Now oftentimes landlords will only run a renter screening or a renter's background check on the person who will be who will be holding the lease since they are the ones who are ultimately responsible for the rental. Now your name will still be on the lease you will be able to live there but they will take on that blow of having their backgrounds checked for an eviction notice or an eviction history. This also is beneficial because you'll be able to save and cut costs of renting. There's an, I'm guaranteed there's people out there who are looking for roommates because like I said the market is crazy right now. Rental properties are so expensive and renting with a roommate is just much much more affordable now another thing that you might consider doing is renting from a private landlord most corporate rental companies if they see an eviction notice on your history they would deny your application so going with a private landlord going with you know a private person may may be a more viable option now a private landlord most times than not will be able to sit down for a renters interview go over your references and consider your application an apartment building or a renters community might not now you might I also want to consider contacting the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau to find counselors for you that will help you find rental property and I will have a link in the description. And lastly, be ready to make concessions. Now the biggest challenge with a renter who has an eviction history is being able to prove that it won't happen again. Now whatever the issue, whatever the situation was with the last eviction, you will need to prove that that won't happen again. If your eviction was due to failing to pay for a month, offer an upfront amount. Offer to pay much much more in your upfront amount so that if you fail to pay for a month that can just be taken out from that upfront amount that you already deposited that you already paid if your eviction was due to having an authorized animal if your landlord was in no pet not pet friendly environment and you had an authorized animal have a pet resume to prove that you're a responsible pet owner if the reason for eviction was due to property damage offer to pay a higher amount for the security deposit in most communities it's two hundred dollars offer to pay four hundred five hundred thousand dollars that way they have an assurance that if something's damaged they can just take it out from the higher amount of security deposit that you put down and lastly what you can do is sign a lease that is on a month-to-month -month basis that way you can build history that you can build trust with your landlord and then transition into a long-term lease whether it's four months six months or a year and whatever the reason is getting evicted is stressful it's something that i do not wish on anybody or myself i have seen it happen a lot of times like i said in the past month alone twice so i definitely hope this video was helpful hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this content and hit the bell notification so you get up updates every time I drop something new that's more on this channel like this leave a comment let me know what you think let me know topics that you want me to touch on on this channel I will see you on the next one peace the rent is too damn high party